Um, folks, we also have uh, some of the people that stood with me that have stayed. If you'd like to interview any of them, they're making themselves available for you to be able to talk to them as well. I think this is about the future, the heart and soul of the city of Buffalo. An election isn't technically over until November 2nd, the general election. There are two phases of every election, a primary and a general election. This election isn't over. I'm running as a write-in candidate, and I am running to win this election. I am the person that, have, that has served this city in this capacity for 15 years. So there will be a campaign where people are able to look at every element of my record. They will need to, because it hasn't happened, look at every element of this, person, uh, this person's record. It's critical, because this is about the future. This is about every child, family, man, and woman living in the city of Buffalo. And what I'm hearing from residents is they are fearful about what the future might be with the person that is leading this election right now in the primary. You know what? I take full responsibility. I apologize uh, to the voters. Um, uh, I can't go back. I can all, only go forward. This election is not over. I am running as a write-in candidate, and I am running to win. I am running to put the issues for the future of this community on the table and let the voters make their decision in November. Well, you know, Mr. I, I'm going to answer your question. Mr. Heaney, you love to do investigations, so investigate. Uh, we're going to put out a list of our supporters, and let's see in your reporting if you investigate the other campaign like you've been investigating, like you've been investigating me since 2005. And when it comes to you, I want the community to, to know that uh, it's like driving while black. It's like shopping while black. Uh, it's like discrimination every time with you. Now, yes, you are, so, you are someone that is unfair to a lot of people. But when it comes to people of color, you're most unfair. So if, if, you, if you report fairly, uh, we will do interviews with you. When you don't report fairly, like you oftentimes do not do, we will not do interviews with you. You know, I don't run and hide from you. You're just unfair. You're just unfair, Mr. Heaney. You're biased. You're biased. You've been biased. And you are a four-pay journalist. Who is we? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be I'm going to be clear with you. I think investigative post is biased. I think they have treated me over the years in a discriminatory fashion when people talk about systemic racism. Uh, Mr. Heaney's picture should be in the dictionary. I, I'm not attacking media outlets. Two, four, seven, uh, uh, Spectrum, BFO, uh, WUFO, WBLK, and on and on and on. I welcome all your questions. But just like protesters 
took the street, took to the streets all last summer to protest against systemic racism. As mayor of the city of Buffalo, I'm not going to stand for systemic racism. It's been happening for too long with this gentleman, Mr. Heaney. So write it down, Mr. Heaney, and report it just like I said it. Thank you for that, that question. So for impartial organizations that organize debates, I will debate my opponent any place, any time, anywhere. You can book it. Uh, as I indicated, I can't go back. The past is the past. I can only go forward. Uh, now I hear some of you saying that you'd like to organize debates for any impartial, objective organization that would like to organize a debate. I will participate. I will gladly participate. Uh, and you will see the difference uh, between a radical socialist uh, and someone that's been serving this community for 15 years. Uh, let me just say that as I campaign, I'm going to campaign the way I want to campaign. You asked for, you, 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 you asked a, 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 for a campaign, I'm going to campaign the way I want to campaign. Uh, I will go up against it the same way Lisa Murkowski went up against it in Alaska in 2010 with no institutional support, uh, with all organizations against her and winning a write-in. I will go up against it the same way uh, Mayor Mike Duggan did in 2013, uh, running as a write-in candidate and winning. But I think during the, the, the course of this campaign, um, that institutional support that my opponent might have, I think it will evaporate. I think people will see the difference, the clear difference, uh, between me and her, and the support will go to me. And I can tell you that every time she talks about defunding police, uh, which will make our community less safe, uh, which will make our uh, home values go down, which will make our children less safe. Uh, there, that is more time that people are calling us, showing their support for our candidacy. So I hope she continues to talk about where she stands on the issues as a radical socialist, uh, because that will cause more and more voters to support my candidacy. So, uh, you know, I've already, I've already made it clear that I did not ask Mr. Palladino for his support. I've already made it, made it clear that I will not take Mr. Palladino's support. And for some of you that know the record, and have done the research over the years, you should know that we are not close. Uh, you, you know what? Uh, there's, there's talk about people power. Well, with the thousands of people that have signed on to this campaign, they're going to see real people power. Uh, and people are saying, I want to give $5. I want to give $25. I want to give $50. So anyone that doubts that we have thousands of people that have called, that have signed up, that have offered their support, you will see that in the coming days, weeks, and months.
Pardon me? Listen, we, we, are a, we are a community of people of all backgrounds. We're a community of small businesses, medium-sized businesses, and big businesses that employ masses of people in our community. I'm not going to disenfranchise anyone. I am going to bring this entire community together. And what I am seeing, the momentum, the excitement, the enthusiasm, uh, I haven't seen this kind of energy in a very long period of time. It's bringing people together, and you will see real people power on November 2nd. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Pardon me? Uh, well, uh, so I will be running as a write-in. The, the uh, Republican Party, other parties... I, I will be running as a write-in. Other parties can't endorse now. Other parties can't get me on the ballot. I will be running as a write-in. Um, and so any voter... So in the general election, there will be Democrats that vote. There will be uh, Republicans, conservatives, independents, blanks. I'm appealing to every single resident of the city of Buffalo that is a legitimate voter for their vote on November 2nd. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone.